Hey guys, welcome back to another video in Caplong X Prince's Justice. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about, well, chaos. Hawk Moth gets hit. Ladybug and Kanawar taking their miraculous. This is the latest episode yet chronologically, so this is gonna give us so many insight to the future. And also, please someone tell me who is responsible of these weird photo shoots. Okay, there is a lot to analyze. So if you wanna know, don't leave this video and subscribe down below and leave a like if you enjoyed and let's begin this video. Munda Gloop first clip. So actually the first like minutes of Simple Man was released and just basically not to make this video even longer, Marinette was already babysitting Manon, but Alia had to date with Nino, but didn't know that Marinette was already babysitting. So Marinette's like, don't worry, don't worry, I can take care of your sisters and Nino's cousin. So we get the feeling that Marinette is not going to be okay with this because we totally see that simple man exists. There's going to be someone akumatized. It's because Marinette cannot handle all of these kids. And we see a lot of chaos, like the kids wanting to open the Kwame box, you know, all that stuff. Munda Gloob trailer. First of all, I have to say, I really have a big and gut feeling that these little kids are going to end up finding out. I don't know. I'm just saying this because I just have this gut feeling, but I don't know. You know, you let me know in the comment section below. Do you think these little kids are going to end up finding out? Probably yes. I don't know. Anyways, we begin the trailer. Marinette is stressed. I mean, who is it? But the big thing, why is Adrian calling Marinette and only Marinette? Like Adrian is actually looking for Marinette. And now I realize that Adrian does trust Marinette. And especially after episodes like Haxan, Rocketeer, Wishmaker, we can see that there was a change that Adrian is going to start relying or trusting Marinette and this is episode 19 which is the latest episode chronologically after Wishmaker and there was major trust issues between Ladybug and Hanoir and maybe that's why Adrian he thinks that the only friend other than Ladybug that he can actually trust is probably Marinette. We see that poor Marinette's grandpa have to deal with the kids like she was supposed to care for like Marinette these kids were like your responsibility I mean I'm all for Adrianette because Adrian called Marinette's like, hey, I need you right now. And Marinette's like, okay, of course. But like, leave these poor kids to their poor grandpa who was like probably playing with his mice playing Cinderella. I don't know what. And you come with these four human beings destroying his place. I mean, I get it why he got akumatized. We see that Adrian is very thankful and asks Marinette, how can they make it up for you? I mean, um, go on a date. We understand that the grandpa wants everything to be simple and apparently gives like a ray of light that makes everything like everything simple. I was thinking in my head, what if this makes it simple for Marinette to tell Adrian, oh, you can make it up for me by going on a date with me or I like you, Adrian. What if that happens? I mean, that would be so crazy. Like this simple thing makes Marinette confess simply her love to Adrian. I mean, that could actually happen. The final scene that of this trailer shows some reason that these kids are pretty mature now. And we see that Ladybug and Kanawar are doing everything they can to take out their Miraculous because everything is simple. Miraculous Company YouTube channel trailer. Adrian is flying to the sky. I was like kind of perturbed at that first second of that trailer. I was like, what is going on with these photo shoots? I mean, like, Gabriel, are you actually paying for this? Like, that is not... Like, waste your money on something else, please, because that was, that was really weird. We see another angle of the conversation between Adrian and Marinette. And also, can we talk about these really cute backpacks? I hope they come up with these, like, for merch, because these are so cute. I really want one, so let me know if it comes out, guys. We see basically the same, but something is different. When the grandpa shoots that ray of light, Hawk Moth also gets shot, and I... I never thought that an Akumatized villain could actually reach Hawk Moth. Like, that's actually really cool, and that probably gives us insight on maybe a powerful villain that can happen in the future that he can, like, even uh, try to, like, you know, touch Hawk Moth with just this ray of light. And that was actually pretty smart of Simple Man. We see that Hawk Moth gets shot. I mean, how is that gonna affect? Does this mean that Gabriel is actually gonna use his brain for one? Maybe we actually see Hawk Moth win. Like, everything is more simpler. He actually is thinking right he actually gets the miraculous we actually see how ladybug and Kanawar wants to take their miraculous and the kids are doing everything they can so they don't they're pulling their hands they're pulling their hair no that's not happening i don't know but to be honest i have no clue like this actually this episode 
I have no clue how they're gonna save the day because yeah obviously they're gonna save the day because this is miraculous ladybug that we're talking about but how I am actually I really don't know which is actually so cool because usually episodes of miraculous ladybug are really predictable but this one I'm like how are they gonna save the day like is Bunnix coming or is Luca gonna help or like I mentioned here could Rena Furtive be here? You know, there's a lot of things, so we're gonna discuss that a little later. Let's continue analyzing. So I feel like this episode, Simple Man, will be a really good one. First of all, for Adrian at Shippers. I feel like Adrian, after thinking that Ladybug doesn't trust him, remember, it's thinking. A Ladybug does trust Cat Noir, but he Cat Noir is seeing everything else, and I mean, I feel bad for him, okay? The thing is that it's going to be really good for Agent S. Shipper because Agent, after thinking that Ladybug does not trust him, he's going to start trusting someone else. And in the list of people that he trusts after Ladybug, literally is Marinette. I mean, he has called Marinette his everyday Ladybug. And Marinette has always been for him, and he knows that. This friendship is going to develop into something more, like even more deeper, because that relationship is going to get really big just because he thinks that Ladybug isn't trusting him and now he's gonna trust someone like Marinette and that really that really could tell us something big I mentioned in my past video of hacks and if you haven't watched that go and check it out because I analyze every single detail and theorize but the thing is that I analyze there agent has no one else to trust ladybug no and after that I don't know like he literally does not have a dad he does not have a mom who is he gonna trust? And I said probably Nino. And Nino could be a bad influence because we know that he could he's literally spilling the beans. So I don't know what's gonna happen with Nino, but what if it's not Nino and instead he starts trusting Marinette? What if one day Adrian tells Marinette, hey, I'm Cat Noir? He's gonna start trusting her, and I that just makes so much sense. Now along with the title of this video. Could Hawk Moth win in Simple Men? Like, actually get the Miraculous. There is a spoiler that Hawk Moth will get the Miraculous in Season 4. And everything is going to be simple in this episode. So could it be that this episode, after all, Hawk Moth does get shot. He could win. And Lady Man Cat Noir are doing everything they can to take the Miraculous. I feel like something bad is going to happen. What if these little kids can't, you know, can't hold their hands for too long i really think that hawk moth could win in simple man but this is all speculation so who knows i'm just like i really have high expectation of this episode but talking about the people that who can save the day it could be these little kids could these little kids find out their identities i don't know but could bunnix come could rena furtive i mean alia is supposedly rena furtive while there's an akumatized villain at least hiding there so could Rena Furt to come here and save the day? Could she do an illusion or something? Anyways, remember this episode is coming out Tuesday, Munda Gloob, September 28th at 6.30 p.m. Be tuned. This episode is going to be incredible. It's going to be so good. And it's going to be very simple too. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe down below and leave a like if you enjoyed to be always here for any theories, any spoilers, and everything in this channel. Also, check me out on Instagram. It's the exact same thing, Cap Long or Spirits of Justice. And you can send me your fan arts, your spoilers, your theories, everything you guys can in Instagram as well. And also, if you don't have Instagram, you can always comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.